An emotional day inside a North Carolina courtroom today. The man who reported the disappearance of his girlfriend's three year old pleaded guilty to the child's murder. Thank you for joining us. I'm Deborah Morgan and I'm Gerald Owens. The 2017 search for Mariah Woods spanned multiple counties and made national headlines. Earl Kimry pleaded guilty to killing her and will spend the rest of his life in prison without the possibility of parole. In the last few hours, he apologized to family and friends. WRL's Chelsea Donovan was inside the Onslow County courtroom today and has covered this story since the little girl first disappeared. She joins us now live with new developments. Chelsea. <laughs> Deborah, last month, Mariah Woods would have turned eight years old. And today, a man who grew up in Mebane admitted that drugs at the time was dominating his life. And he was just trying to put this little girl to sleep so he could get high when instead he overdosed her with chloroform and disposed of her little body. After sitting in a jail cell for five years, 37-year-old Earl Kimry faced a judge with an admission. Do you now personally plead guilty? Yes, sir. Are you in fact guilty? Yes, sir. Earl Kimry will now spend the rest of his life in prison without parole after killing three-year-old Mariah Woods in 2017 in Onslow County. He said he used chloroform the victim to make her go to sleep because she was bothering him while he was trying to get high. The state and even the defense says Kimry, who was dating Mariah's mother, Christy Woods, was a meth addict and drugs fueled his decision to poison her with chloroform, shove her in trash bags inside of a couch cushion, add a 50 pound cement block and toss her off a bridge into a Pender County Creek. She was found at about 18 feet of water. Kimry first made a 911 call to report Mariah missing. An intense search ensued, but later he confessed to authorities and even fellow inmates that he killed the toddler. Mariah was found in these waters six days after she disappeared by a Fayetteville dive team. It was not my intention for this to happen. Again, I'm so very sorry for family, friends, and everyone involved. Family wept as the state spent nearly an hour going over details of this case that garnered national attention. Mariah's mother wrestling with tears as she addressed the court. She was the light of everybody's life. She had a smile and a laugh that could brighten your day. All the milestones that we should be experiencing with her will never experience. Now, as you heard, Christy Woods, Mariah's mother, she was actually cleared of any wrongdoing in this case. Now, the D.A. had intended to seek the death penalty for Earl Kimry, but they felt that the defense would claim this was all as all an accident, rather, as they did in court today. Deborah, Chelsea Donovan live in Onslow County. Thank you, Chelsea.